All right, my second tip here is going to be a relatively new feature, and that is the ability to filter when you bring data into the system. So I'm going to drop in text file, and again, this is the same file that Gerard and I have been using through the program here. I'm going to have my familiar screen where I confirm the data type. I'm just going to go ahead with these. I'm going to click Transform Data. And Gerard and I were lamenting this morning that new features in Spotfire have kind of uh, uh, derailed our old tips. I used to have a great tip for filtering data when you brought it in. It required about uh, six steps, including unpivots and calculated columns, and would have taken this entire 30-minute session to, to do what I'm doing now. Let's say that in that data, I have several libraries. Um, I have a library A, B, C, D, and E. If I would like to only include library A, B, C, and D, I can enter a expression here for library does not equal E. So I am filtering for records. Um, yeah, this, this will exclude library E from my data set. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to look at my data panel to confirm that when I come into the library column, look at my unique values here, and I no longer have library E. So a great way to filter as you're bringing data in, um, as, as experienced users are aware, there's a lot of ways to handle your data in Spotfire. Sometimes it's easiest just to not bring in the data that isn't relevant at that time. Maybe it's data cleaning, maybe it's just that you're gonna have a dashboard for library A, B, C, and D and not E, and you just don't need that data at all. So this is one, one nice way to do it. Uh, now that it's part of that loading process, it'll happen every time. So now whenever I bring in that data set, it's going to exclude library E. Um, also, Matt, there might be something you're interested in there on your filtering. You can also do that filtering to what you want as a filter. And then if you right click that, you can create a filter transformation directly from there. So down here, you'll see I'm looking now at 80 out of 950 rows. If I create that transformation, I'm now looking at 80 out of 80. So it's applied that filter, removed the rows I don't need, and down in the data canvas, we have a look in there. It's actually got the filter transformation for you. You can go in there and edit it um, to further modify that, but also maybe a, a quick way to, to get that filter in there as well. 